In this video, I'll demonstrate the installation of PowerShoot Network Shutdown on VMware's Virtual Management Assistant version 6.5. Prior to beginning this video, I installed VMA 6.5 on one of my hosts. If you need assistance installing the VMA on your host, please review VMware's vSphere Management Assistant Guide available on VMware.com. Also, prior to starting this video, I downloaded the PowerShoot Network Shutdown Installer from apc.com. I will be using two software applications to perform this task. One is an FTP application and the other is a shell application or SSH application. I have chosen PuTTY as my SSH application and WinSCP as my FTP application. Before installing, I must first copy the files to the VMA. So I will launch WinSCP, enter the IP address of the VMA, and my login credentials. Once logged in, I must navigate to where I have downloaded the PowerShoot installation files and copy the files to the VMA. Now that the files have been copied to the VMA, I will close WinSCP. I will now launch my SSH application to log into the VMA. And enter the IP address of the VMA. I can now log into the VMA. Since I copied the files to the vi-admin home directory, and when I logged in, I logged into that directory, if I list the contents, I will see the compressed PCNS files. Uncompressing the files is a two-step process. I must first run gunzip. Now when I list, I see that there's a tar file, so I'll now run tar. When I list out the contents of the directory, I see that there is an ESXi directory. I will CD to that ESXi directory to run the installer. When I list the contents, I see the install underscore en dot sh. Install underscore en indicates to me that this is an English version of PowerShoot Network Shutdown. To run the installer, I must be a super user, so I enter sudo dot slash to indicate that I want to install from my present working directory and then the install file and hit enter. I'm asked to enter my password. The installer will now start. I must first agree to the licensing agreement by entering yes to the terms. I'm now asked where I would like to install PowerShoot 2. I recommend installing to the default directory of slash opt slash apc slash PowerShoot, so I will hit enter. I'm now asked if I am I sure that I want to install PowerShoot, and yes. I'm now asked about Java. I can use a version of Java that may have been pre-installed on this VMA, or I can use the one that comes bundled with PowerShoot. Since I have not pre-installed a version of Java, I will use the bundled version and hit Enter to continue. I now see that PowerShoot is being installed.
I'm now asked if I would like to enable SNMP support. Support for SNMP was added in PowerShoot Network Shutdown version 4.2. Since I do want to enable SNMP support, I will answer yes and hit enter to continue. I'm now asked what SNMP port I would like to use. I would like to use a default port of 161, so I will hit enter to continue. I now see that the installation has completed and the PowerShoot Network shutdown can be accessed through your web browser at HTTPS, the server IP address, colon 6547. 6547 is the port used to access the PowerShoot Network Shutdown web interface. When I first log into the web interface, I will see the configuration wizard. For assistance with the PowerShoot Network Shutdown configuration wizard for VMware, please see Schneider Electric FAQ FA 311016. To verify that PowerShoot is running, I will run the command service PowerShoot with an uppercase P and uppercase C status. I see that PowerShoot is running. Since I installed to the default path, I know that PowerShoot was installed to slash opt slash apc slash PowerShoot slash group one. When I list out the contents of the directory, I see the PowerShoot files. I see the error log, the event log.txt, and the pcnsconfig.ini file. These files are useful in case you need to do some troubleshooting or would like to edit the PowerShoot behavior without going through the web interface. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.